when I was an undergraduate, I was quite idealistic about politics. And my friends used to often say to me, well, if you think that, then why don't you give all your money to help people starving in Africa? They said this to shut me up, of course. But after a while, I started studying philosophy and ethics. And I started thinking, well, if global poverty is one of the most serious moral problems of our time, and I could do a lot to help, then why not? Many people nowadays are skeptical of foreign aid, saying that it sometimes does no good or could even be harmful. This is true, but it neglects the fact that there are also many cases of aid which can make huge improvements to people's lives. Indeed, recent research shows that even among the good charities, there are some that are up to a thousand times more effective than others. What we need is some way of sorting out which are the very best charities so that people can donate to these and help people as much as they possibly can. The most effective aid programs can deliver concrete benefits for very little money. For example, treatment of TB can save a life for every 300 pounds. And treatment for neglected tropical diseases is even more cost effective than that. When I discovered this, I decided to make a commitment to give away most of what I earn over my life uh, to effective causes such as these, thereby saving more than 2,000 lives. I give away everything I earn above £18,000. I don't yet own a house, and I'm very happy living on less income than I earn. I also set up an organisation called Giving What We Can, so that others could join me in making a pledge to give 10% of our income to wherever we each think it could do the most to help fight global poverty. In the last year, 63 people have joined me, pledging a total of £14 million, which could save 40,000 lives. By giving more money and giving it more cost-effectively, each person living in the UK could transform the lives of thousands of people living abroad. Let's do so. And I'm delighted to say Toby Ord is with us in the studio. Shall we just clear up a few of the questions that people are going to be asking at home? Are you independently wealthy? Do you stand to inherit a great amount of money? Are you sitting on a secret pile of cash we don't know about? Uh, no, none of those things. Right, OK. So what is it that motivates you to give such a large proportion of what you earn away? Well, ultimately, uh, I know that uh, people are equal and uh, that there's a lot of people who I could help by a great deal. Uh, and uh, I, if I've thought about this and tried to work out how much I could help them with my money compared to helping myself. And I think that uh, a dollar spent on the most effective charities abroad uh, is worth as much as ten thousand dollars spent on myself. Okay, so I mean, it's fair, it's you and your wife who do this, don't you? I mean, she yeah, has a right. threshold as well, and anything she earns over that, and we're talking sizable proportions yes. of, of, of income. Um, you, you talk about foreign charities, though, and you know, a lot of people say charity begins at home. Well, why don't you give to UK charities? Well, it's a good question. Uh, so, what I'm particularly motivated by is helping people, uh, regardless of where those people happen to be. Uh, and it turns out that when giving abroad there are cases where you can help people much more than helping people in the UK. So for the same amount of donation, uh, you can help hundreds of times as many people. Mm -hmm. And so that seems really important to me. With the picture being as it is, can the government, would you like the government to do anything more to encourage giving? Uh, yes, uh, I think that uh, uh, the government uh, could give, uh, could, could uh, increase its, uh, its giving as a whole uh, through the uh, uh, taxation. Uh, from the 0.7% target. Uh, I would be very happy if uh, the government finally reaches the 0.7% target. Um, but they could do that even higher. And uh, they, they could also uh, continue to promote individual giving. Edmund, thank you very much for speaking to us. Sure. I was looking at US salaries for charities. The head of UNICEF earns, I think, over half a million dollars. The head of the US Salvation Army, $13,000 a year.